there is a common misconception that you need to know how to code in order to work in tech, but that's simply not true. There are plenty of non-technical roles that are important in the tech industry. Whether you are a creative, a problem solver, or you just simply have passion for technology, there is a non-coding tech role out there for you. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 non-coding roles in tech if you're looking to break into the industry. Did you know that 88% of online users are less likely to return to a particular website after a bad user experience? UX is the key to customer retention and loyalty. That is where UX designers come in. UX designers are responsible for designing user interfaces that are easy to use and navigate. They create the look and feel of a product, making sure it's aesthetically pleasing. So if you have a passion for design, psychology, and empathy for users, then a career as a UX designer might be a perfect fit for you. Moving on to the next non-coding role in tech, which is product manager. Why am I spinning? Product managers are responsible for developing and managing products throughout their life cycle from start to finish. They work with engineering, design, and marketing team to define product strategy, prioritize features, and launch products to market. If you have a passion for innovation and a knack for business strategy, then you should consider a career in product management. Okay. The third non-coding role in tech that I have to share with you is technical writer. Technical writing is one of the highest paying jobs in tech that do not require Coding. Have you ever been so frustrated by poorly written manuals or instructions? A technical writer did that, but not so well. Because technical writers create user manuals, product descriptions, and other technical documents that help users understand complex products and services. So if you have an amazing writing skill and eye for detail, how about you become a technical writer? I'm excited about number four. So the next role in tech that doesn't require coding is human resources or if you like, technical recruiter. Human resources plays a critical role in any industry. They are responsible for recruiting and onboarding new employees, managing benefits and compensation, and ensuring compliance to labor laws and regulations. So if you want to pursue a career in human resources, I've put together detailed information in this ebook to get you started. The link to the ebook is in the description below. With this ebook, you will get the fundamental knowledge to kickstart your career in human resources. You should consider a career in project management if you have a knack for organizing and leading teams to achieve their goals. Project managers are responsible for ensuring that projects are completed on time, within budget, and to the satisfaction of stakeholders. So again, if you have a strong organizational skill and love working with people, then you should consider going for PM. I love the next one because I started learning a thing or two on Coursera on this next role, data analyst. Data is king. Data is the new gold. Data analysts help businesses make informed decisions by analyzing data to identify trends and insights. They use tools like Excel. Excel is very fundamental in this role. Python, XQL to gather and manipulate data, create visualizations and reports to present their findings. Are you analytical and love working with data? Then this career path is a good fit. For you. The next one is a little bit tricky, but hear me out. Cyber security. With the increasing number of cyber attacks and breaches in recent years, cyber security has become a critical concern for businesses of all sizes. So cyber security analysts play a vital role in protecting businesses and their customers from cyber attacks. They monitor networks and systems for vulnerabilities, investigate security incidents, and implement security measures to prevent future attacks. This is why I said it's a little bit tricky. While a basic understanding of coding can be helpful in some aspects of cybersecurity, it is not always a requirement for cybersecurity analysts. Many cybersecurity tasks involve analyzing data and identifying patterns, and some tasks may require using specialized security software that do not require extensive coding knowledge. My next option for you to help you in your career trajectory is digital marketing. I think I mentioned digital marketing in this video. so. Check it out after this one. Let's simply move on to the next one, which is business analysts. According to a report by McKinsey, businesses that use data to drive decision-making are 23 times more likely to acquire customers, six times likely to retain customers, and 19 times likely to be profitable. This is where business analysts come in. 
They work closely with business leaders and stakeholders to understand the business needs, define requirements, and develop solutions that align with the organizational goals. If you're analytical and have passion for business strategy, then go for BA. And last on our list, not the list, sales engineer. If you can explain complex concepts to people, then you should consider taking up a career as a sales engineer. And of course, you need to have a passion for technology too. Sales engineers are responsible for demonstrating technical capabilities to potential customers. They work with sales and marketing to develop solutions that meet customer needs, and they provide technical support during the sales process. In addition to being analytical and having passion for technology, you need to enjoy working with people in order to excel as a sales engineer because you'll be working with varieties of people, different things. Get you started in any of this role, I have listed online platforms where you can take online courses in any of the roles you choose to pick up. So friend, that brings us to the end of this video. If you find value in this video, kindly give it a thumbs up so it can reach a wider audience. And I hope you make the decision to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next video.